There we go. Right, how's everyone been? I hope you've all had a good Christmas. Have a happy new year. I thought I'd make this little vlog just to prove to you all that I am still alive and kicking. Um, it's also going to be a massive uh, input to the paddock maintenance thing that I'm trying to start. I thought I'd start, well I thought I'd start saying it now just to get into the new year. So I'm going to be roughly uh, £10 an hour for everything here. So baling, muck carting when I get the trailer done, mowing, topping, chain arrows and the tether. Now that is a rough price. Uh, I am going to work out kind of rough really. Well, I'm going to try and work out a bit more accurate exactly what it needs to be and then make a price up. Log splitter over there as well, I can do log splitting. The only thing I can't do is cut the trees down, but I can do log splitting. So if you like us and you have a big pile of logs from all the trees that are along the back here, and you need them splitting and you haven't got a splitter, then I'll come do it. And it's also 40p a mile. Um, and that is the ZF, well, it's ZFP paddock maintenance. I'll leave a link in the description to my page. There isn't too much on there in the way of anything of use. There's just pictures of things that I've done. Um, also, that plough in the corner's for sale. I did buy it. I bought it Saturday. And I was going to do it up, but I really don't want... I thought I could do it and do it up, but I just... I, d I just don't want any more projects. I thought I did. You know, I just kind of got a bit happy with it, but looking at the stuff I've got, and how much I'm going to need to sort of fix it, it might as well just go for now. Top link not available. Top link not included, sorry, that's my one. And you can see all my other hay bales over there that I made last year. I seem to have got this pretty good. Kind of making the bales when I was getting around the last... Actually, not even the last, when I was getting around the first headland. By the end of it, I'd managed to get it set pretty good. So it was making... Uh, I think it was, I, I wound it down a turn and a half on the compa compactor things on the back and it seemed to make pretty good bales and they held out pretty well. The string in it's shit though, it's the old stuff so it's all rotten as bollocks. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just make this quick vlog for you. Um, if you're wondering where I've been, FS19 was a complete nut disgrace to the farm some community. It was an absolute bag of shit. I've hated it. So I've refunded it and I'm not playing it. So I will be playing FS17. Um, I've also been making a map for Tom of a real life area. Uh, and it's actually where his dad used to work. So we've been doing that and there probably will be a video up tonight of that. I've been ill. I've been at work. You know, I've been doing all sorts. So that's that. But... Uh, the Zeta has had straight piped, twi it's had its whip, mirrors put back on its lights and its beacons. So that has pretty much been sorted. It is, and the Major is permanently straight piped pretty much now. I have still got the standard exhaust, they are over there. So if, if you do need some work, and if you're wondering, I'm based in Utoxta, but I am, I can... The max mileage I'll probably do is about 10, because 10 miles on this, that's not too bad, because it's quite quick and it's got a cab. But 10 miles on this is horrendous. It's so cold, especially this time of year. But anyway, uh, the standard exhausts are around there if you don't want the straight pipes on, because she is surprisingly fucking loud with a surprise straight pipe. Um, so this may just had a glow plug fitted, because it really struggled to start without one no idea why i don't know whether it was to pump the injectors or something wasn't happy but it really did not like starting and i kind of think it was down to not having enough work because diesels don't really like just taking over they like to be pretty much worked it's also hit a thousand hours as well so um so that's that the zeta is all still fine uh it's got a radio to be fitted in we managed to sort the one brake out on it that was playing up like fuck. So if I put the key in, turn the lights on, put the beacons on. 
so it's got twin LED floodlights they're not spotlights they're floodlight work lights they, they you have options when you buy them and it's got twin uh, 55 not 55 it's got twin beacons anyway which are that side and that side it's also got two brand new batteries on because the other two were fucked and as you can see they're gear driven they're like a worm in a wheel it's really odd how they're done but they work I need to I'm going to ring AgriLine in the new year and get the last piece of glass fitted for this cab patch some of the holes up I've got two new well I've got one new one of these lights which I will get done and uh, yeah the nice little work light there but uh, it is it is I am getting there with it it's still not road registered but that's okay because it doesn't really go anywhere oh, I suppose we can start it up with the straight pipe on because I know quite a few people are going to want to hear that knock it out of gear it's really a really odd gear system Oh, I'll get it. And I've changed the seat as well. If you remember, it was all that old panel shit. I've uh, I managed to find one of these at the at work. So it needs another windscreen wiper fitting. Um, as you can see, all some of the seals have still cracks and the fucking great big holes in the wings. Um, but the plan is to wait till after Christmas till January get this in that shed with without the buckets on and the loader will still have to stay on jack the back end up, take the wheels off, patch the wings up rewire the two new back lights in because they'll just be a simple case of swap the wires over and put the lights in put them in, let the wire it up try and get another passenger seat, do that break fit the radio in which I'm hoping to have kind of over here so I might even just have it on this wing here just easy enough and put one speaker there and one speaker in the corner here I might have them at the back corners like that um, and what else is there to do with this? there's nothing else to really do with this so we'll start it up anyway just to end the video oh, I love it when it makes that sound <laughs> that um yeah he hasn't got much diesel in so i don't really want to run it for too long the plan for this one is to kind of do the heavier of the work it's gone really cold as well um so if it does need to go on a job it's hopefully i'm going to use it for just for the mowing and the um i want to use this for the mowing and the topping no, sorry, the mowing, the baling, and that. But I might not, I might use the major on the baler because of how easy it is to see. Just anything really heavy work, I might just chuck on this. But It's nice to have two tractors because if I need help, I can always get someone in to help me. But, um, yeah, so if you're interested in any, having any work doing in the new year, then I'll leave a link to ZFP Paddock Management in the description. Maintenance. I call it management for no fucking reason. It's maintenance. Um, and yes, videos should recall back to normal. They won't be Farm Sim 19. They will be 17. But that's it. That's just it, really. But uh, anyway, I hope you've had a good Christmas. I hope you have a happy new year. And I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.